What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, we are going to check out BT's complete Wi-Fi service. So just before we get started, I would like to let you guys know that I am not being paid to make this video, but BT did provide the package and service so that I could go ahead and test it out. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the idea of complete Wi-Fi is that BT will guarantee you great Wi-Fi in every single room in your house. And for me at the minute, this is not achievable as the router is placed here in my office. I live in an old Victorian style house, so the walls are really thick. So if you go to say my living room and run a speed test, as you can see, I am getting half the speed that I get while I'm in my office which is definitely not ideal, especially when I want to be doing stuff in here and my wife wants to be streaming Netflix, etc. in the living room. So hopefully the package will fix that. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So when you place your order, you will be sent some new goodies. So let's go ahead and unbox them and see what you get. So first up, we have our new router, which is the new Smart Hub 2. As far as design goes, it is definitely plain enough and it should fit into your home with ease. On the rear you will find your Wi-Fi password that you can go ahead and pull out which will definitely be handy if you have some guests in but obviously I have went ahead and covered this up for security reasons. We also have 4 gigabit ethernet ports, a USB port that can be used for things like sharing external storage and lastly we have our RG11 port that's used for your internet connection. Other items included in the box include your filter if needed of course, an ethernet, an RG11 broadband cable and lastly your power adapter. The second item that you will be sent is of course your Wi-Fi disc. In terms of looks, it doesn't look too bad but as someone who really values hiding items like this, I wish it could be a lot smaller or even maybe adapt to something like what Google has done and maybe add some fabric or offer different colour options etc. Just to make it fit into your home a little bit better. I really love to hide things like this in my home. If you're like that, let me know down below. Okay, so setting this up couldn't be more easy. I went ahead, plugged the router in, plugged the RG11 cable in and waited for the steady blue light which probably took around 2 minutes and I had my internet connection. So to connect the disc up you can do this one of two ways. You can connect it to the router via the supplied gigabit ethernet cable and just wait for the steady blue light. When you have it you can move it to anywhere in your house as it's connected to the network. The other way is to use the MyBT app and honestly I found this way to be pretty simple as well. You just go ahead, plug it in in your location of choice in your house, open up your MyBT app on a device that's obviously connected to your network and the setup is pretty straightforward. Just click a few buttons and you're good to go. So let's just quickly talk about the app itself. The MyBT app is very basic and like everything else in this package, it's super simple to use. It pretty much allows you to check and change the settings for your network, change passwords. You can also check a list of all the connected devices on your network and you can even choose the intensity of the lights both on the router and disc or even turn them off completely which I did as I prefer not to have areas glowing blue in my house. <laughs> If you are a network enthusiast however, you may not be totally impressed with this and prefer to log in to your MyBT webpage where you will get more options. Okay, so the main question is, and obviously the whole point of this review, is did this actually solve my problem? Well, I loaded up speed test and ran it again in my living room and lo and behold, we now have a solid connection and the speed in our living room has almost doubled, which is absolutely perfect. So now I can play games in here and my wife can stream Netflix in the living room and that definitely avoids confrontation. So as I mentioned, you do only get one disc sent to you to start with to place in your home. If it doesn't improve Wi-Fi and you still have some rooms in the house that maybe aren't getting the best signal, BT will go ahead and send you up to an additional two. And if the worst scenario happens where it's not improving your internet, which personally at this point I can't see happening, BT will offer you £20 cash back for the hassle. Okay, so do I recommend that you go ahead and try this package? Well, if you're a BT Plus customer for £5 a month, it's definitely worth the value. If you are not BT Plus, it could cost you up to £10, which at that point, if you are a network enthusiast, there are certainly more options that you could explore that may be cheaper in the long run. If you are someone like me, who doesn't know a lot about networking and just wants simple, easy fixes to get good Wi-Fi and pretty much all of your rooms in your house then this is definitely worth considering as the setup is super easy, the cost isn't too terrible 
and honestly I definitely could not be happier with it. So that pretty much rounds this video up guys. If you have any questions or even if you have tried this in your own home, let me know down below what you think of it so far. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, stay safe, be kind to each other and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. I thought we spent going to Thank <laughs> you.